I think the universe is a giant living thinking thing, and we are essentially part of the neurons. So here's an image of the Earth, with no stars for no reason whatsoever. And now we have the neural fabric of the universe. First of the Earth and its relationship with the solar system's relationship with the interstellar neighborhood and the Milky Way galaxy and the local galactic group and the Virgo supercluster and the local supercluster and the observable universe and beyond. And then we have the neural fabric of life on Earth, with different species having their own neural fabric as part of the ecosystem of the planet. It could be viewed as mathematical, it could be viewed as each species having a singular living entity that it represents, where essentially those individual animals are merely extensions of that being, cycling through lives like the high turnover rate of employees at Best Buy, like taste buds dying and regenerating, and like a siphonophore, like the Portuguese man of war, which is not a singular organism, but is a colony made of individual animals, but in this case, we cannot see the larger animal that we are a part of. So we have the humanity neural network, for lack of a better term, the doganity neural network, the oh dear neural network consisting of the collective nature of deer, and then another representation of some other animal's collective nature's neural network. Basically, a neural network for all the life on this planet. Now again, this could simply be some sort of mathematical formula and not really like being part of a giant animal, but again, life could be explained with a mathematical formula or principle. We are a part of something that is thinking, and this is my view about spirituality. To me, this would be why there are people whom we've never met before, but we could swear that we have. We're like exploring a Mandelbrot fractal. The same basic pattern can be found throughout humanity, but the way it merely appears changes with the flow of time.